All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, side note, I decided to forsake Baldur's Gate for, like, this week because, you know, I got really excited about this hidden gem. So, if there's more shit like that in this game, I want to experience it. But I discovered that we have the option to, like, repeatedly come back. So since we're not level 90, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wake up. Just holy shit, man. I did not expect it. Eivor, awake so soon? Yes. The fog cleared suddenly. I I can speak of what I've seen, but I felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. Okay. I will. When I'm ready. Sounds good. Um, what is this other... Oh, that's Return to Asgard. This is... Okay. That's Victor Envy. Actually, you know what? Do I have to? Do I have any trinkets I need to sell? Are you, I also did um did those raids, so I should probably fix up some stuff. What is this place in? Okay, sweet. Uh, what is this? Grain farm. Don't have enough. Oh, that's right. I need supplies. Or raw materials. Getting those is always a bitch. Who do we have here? You good there, kid? Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor! We need your help! What's wrong? Who is we? <laughs> Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... There's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are all right, right. No, they're hurt. And badly. Oh, Take shit. me to them. Run, boy, run! Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. We probably should have taken a horse then. I gotta put you on the front. And you just lead on. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. The hell were you kids doing? Come on! Can't you run any quicker? Knud, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just just trust me. What what do you mean? <laughs> I think he did. Um They look fine. You did it! You brought Eivor! Good work, Knut! What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, <laughs> if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. Cute kids, oh we my must god. Help her. She could be starving. So. Her. 
They're in the well. The dog's She's in the well, or the wolf's we in the well. Her family probably misses her. Let's see. Um. So, yeah, there the the wolf is down there. So maybe through here. This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. No key here. I should look around. On the body of a dead man. <laughs> Did I not pick up the key? Oh, not on his body, but over here. A shame Wallace isn't here to butcher you, but I need to see if you're carrying a key. Okay, let's try this again. I'll free that wolf and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. He was a hunter. To you, I think. Wait! Easy now! Deceived oh, shit. by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Easy? Are you alright? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. Go on home. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. <coughs> That's not quite how it works. Yeah, not not really, not necessarily. Uh oh, run, oh, kids! More wolves and not our new friend, Eivor! Ah, stand back! Stand back! Well, shit, okay. Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. De Wolfka. What? De Wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. <laughs> we should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? I have to pick between three <laughs> three names? The Wolfka. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. That's great. That was lovely. Now, and she's coming we back. We need to get us. home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did. And we got a new friend. Yes, you did. Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, <laughs> have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home. <laughs> Let's play the quiet game, kids. But no, the lesson is wild animals are dangerous, and ah. unless you know you've befriended it, leave it alone. I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now, just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. 
Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, <laughs> scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Oh my god. This is the brewery. Um, there are houses that I know I can build. Like, people's houses? What is this? Bakery, excuse me. I want to see if they, that's a cartographer. Do these houses cost anything, or do they just... Are they just, like, supplies? Or is it raw materials and supplies like everything else? <gasps> just want to check. And then we'll go talk to Randy. Oh, there's no, like, there's no post here for them. What is this? Is this a woodcutter? Cattle farm. Do we have a woodcutter no, option? Uh, nope, that's a house. House. Stable. Oh, that's Volka's hut. Alright, I guess not. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go talk to Renvi now. Oh my god. <gasps> Nonsense! It is not. What are these two fighting about? What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? Sure. I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. Are they both <clears throat> related? You see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and, uh, and, um, lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Yeah, you're bad at this. All this is the clear winner, Hulker. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. You're laughing at A me? pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Natural order, he says. Oh my god. Hey, Papo. How you doing? How you doing, doggo? Okay. I got a letter inside, but we'll, uh, we'll read it and see what's up. Chaya Wolf's letter. I pray this letter finds you well, and uh, my son Chilbert writ, uh, has written to me a few times, often in so much detail. It, it is as though I am there. He admires you, trusts you. It warms my heart to know that he has someone to look up to. I know you will do right by him. As for myself, I'm settled. I have settled nicely into my new role. My court is behind me, and I have the right people's loyalty. For the first time in a long time, Mercia is stable, thanks to you, che King Cheowulf II. Lovely. Dad, 
that is. Good day, Eivor. Hey, Ranvi. Actually, a very good idea. Jailbert. Getting used to us yet? Yes, indeed. Your people have been so hospitable, and Ranvi has taught me so much about your tactics, your approach to war. But not so much that you might use it against us. No, heaven forfend. In spite of your invasive introduction to England, you have treated <laughs> me and my father with kindness. I want this alliance to last, to mean something. I mean that. In truth, I think he does. Good. I'm glad you're fitting in, Chilbert. All right, Randy. How you doing, girl? Let's talk. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabridshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Okay. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandabridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters, to Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're- Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. With me! Alright, holy shit. Looks like we got to cut down an invading force already. Oh, 
long have we been here? Like a couple of months? <clears throat> Excuse me. For Ravenclaw! Oh shit! There we go. Oh my god. And that's how you get into the fray. <laughs> they hide their wealth in the log house. Break the wall. Jesus, he's a big one. Who sent you to die here? We are big. You will be no death there. Ah. All right. Yurna's here and she's doing well. How we doing, Yurna? We've got a couple left. You Only a few cowards left. Drive them off. The oh, powerful one is Skull Crusher. What the fuck? Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. I think we should send someone to follow him, then kill him. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. 
Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. The fuck is your problem, Dag? Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Here's hoping. It is cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Oh, hey, the wolf hangs out in here now. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Jail Wolf, how you doing? Or Jail, Jailbert. <laughs> I forgot his name that quick. Jailbert, are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us instead of just hiding here in the longhouse. You are exactly where you needed to be. Defending the people and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient. And your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you, not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. Hopefully there isn't a next time and we can just train you, but still. All right, so what do we got, quest-wise? Uh, a couple of Ravensthorpe. That's still a thing. Okay, well, let's do this. Do we... Do we speak to Ranvi? Nice to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. East Anglia, definitely. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. We're gonna put a stop to this real quick. I'll make the trip east then. Speak to this Finier myself. A good plan. Oh, that's the wrong door. Oh, what happened to the sound? What happened to the FX? Um, I think it said I gained some raw materials from that too, since that technically counts as a raid. So let's, I did, I, I gained quite a bit. Um, so let's improve some stuff. Let's build up some stuff. First, we're gonna, we're gonna um build up our uh, what you call it? But I'm I'm blanking I'm blanking shipyard. <laughs> Meaning now we can customize our ship. In this one. Perfect, Eivor. You really are a generous one. You're welcome. Okay. So, we got several different reindeer. Huh. Wanderlust. Jotunheim. Oh, wait. Oh, sweet. Reindeer Clan Hall. Or sail. And their yacht name. 
Reindeer. Wanderlust. What is that? Ooh, wow. And for the back. Enough for today? Yeah. I'll see you later, friend. Farewell, Avo. Now we should really start investing in um some stuff. Oh my god, look at the damage. Can you remind me what you do here? We're fishermen, my granddad and me, and we can help with anything you need. Bring us fish you find out there, and we'll pay you for them. I can fish? But if I'm being honest, we can't do a thing until we have a place to work. If you've got time, we'd love it if you could build something. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I must take my leave. So long. Um, so we can build the fisherman's hut. Have a look. What is that? Oh, that's the trading post we already built. Bakery. I want a brewery. What is that? It just improves the feast buff. I don't really know what that does. Where is the, um... There's some other stuff, like cartographer and stuff that I want to build. What's this? Ah! Oh, that took most of the last of our stuff. Alright, let's talk to you. Let's see what you got to sell. I would like to see what you have in stock. Okay, so it gives intel, raw materials map. I definitely want that. I've marked the location on your map. There's, oh, an Oxenifal child. We haven't even been there. <laughs> Alright. I'm here if you need anything more. I have to go. See you soon. Thankfully, he provides maps, so Thank that's great. Keep exploring. So we're setting sail towards this way. So we might as well just uh, kind of fast travel and hit this. Actually, oh, oh wow, that's uh, that's not that's not in our pay grade. Okay, so, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. When do you guys sail this way towards me? So, we are headed Oh, we hit that. So we're going to turn around. What's the raid? Oh, the monastery. No. We already hit it. Sail. Catch the wind. No. A monastery at the time. Is there a sea skull among you? A story. Save it for later. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. We need an epic tale. 
Oh, this is a raid. I didn't oh, know this was a raid. you have likely never heard the story of the time Odin and Freya appeared. Hold on, good stuff. Oh. 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 Alright, kill them all! What are you? You're new. Oh my god. So you need help. Don't just stand there. Oh, man. Ah, shit. You're a hard bastard. I'll burn you. Oh wow, they recovered quickly. You'll make good. Oh. Thank you for that. Wait, are you not part of this raid? Off with this. Or maybe not. Maybe we just slit his throat a little bit. Scamper away from me. Oh, you Get bitch. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hit the rest of it. Yeah, we didn't take shit. Huntsman huh? breaches. Oh, I read that already. Um, what's left? What's left? There's Two pieces of wealth, one right there and one by the ship. Where is it? Oh, right here. There we go. Can I sell these carbon ingots? Because... There's not really much I do with them now. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, boys. So, to East Anglia we go. And probably just pull up and hit that, and then I might have to ride inland. Sing, my ravens. You salt skulls got a story. During my 19th winter, King Styrbjorn ordered the construction of a new long Splendid hall, you now see at Thornburg. To build this longhouse, he employed the help of 20 men. I was among them, as was Fradi, the strongest and stoutest man I had ever seen. We set about felling trees and hewing wood for timber. Fradi was the fastest of us. 
Dropping 41 trees in only two days. On the third day, a spindly man called Nar was near upon felling his first tree. He had hacked it by Vengeance! Oh hours. shit! Is somebody still attacking? They're shooting at somebody. What was that all about? Let's try to pull out of here. Cause I think that's that's where the uh, this is where the point was that I wanted to get. What are you doing? <sighs> Jesus! Just random ambushes happen now. Tanya's watch. Okay, up here and synchronize. So we're close. We're running in, uh, running inland. We could get back on the river and hit this, which seems like a bandit camp, and I think that's what we're gonna do. I don't see uh, there. There we go. Get get out. Thank you. bit rattled from the ambush, but let us continue on the, the road to East Anglia and get some revenge. Gee, what are you doing? Why do they keep popping up like that? Oh my god. 
Shut up. Let me let me maneuver. Let's hear a story. You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding craft. In my youth, just 13 winters old, I designed an improvement to our dragon boats. One that gave them extra strength. It is so common now that none remember my genius design. But at the time, I was praised from the top to the bottom of Norway. Sure. I've been out sailing Ma, with my father down. when we hit a rough patch of ocean. Our boat trembled like a frozen skeleton. We nearly broke to pieces, but I was not afraid. I was transfixed by the ship itself, watching it bulge and heave. As men screamed around me, I devised improvements to keep the hull solid. We'll pick up from there. God. See, I would have I would have just like sat there and listened to continue on and let Dag just ruin himself. <laughs> but I didn't have the heart for it. I had to get this treasure and Dag was gonna be mad at me anyway, so How the fuck do I get up there? Ah No! Oh. No breaking of barriers required. Oh, oh my god. Eivor. Eivor, climb through. Eivor. Oh my god. Nope. There we go. Finally. Oh my. Um... go and I've got at least one of these things to help me blow through this uh lovely yeah there it is I think we can ride from uh, here. Unless my horse doesn't. There we go. Can see just like that. We're already there. Jesus. Northwick. Uh, no, let's talk to the know the way dude first. Why Suffering not? hard times, I see. <laughs> Is that a flighting hey, match? I see. Later. <laughs> Shut up before I stab you. What? What's happening? Finir? Oh. No, not unless Halfdan sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finir, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? 
Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Lovely, so we got a weak king who can't get married yet. <laughs> A drunkard of a steward and a bunch of raiders just pillaging around East Anglia fighting their own and the Saxons where's the, where's oh dear lord it's the church it's the church okay well let's let's have a bout of flighting shall we Hello, gentlemen. Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna beat your ass. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Avor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools, and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. Wow, okay, sure. And they're sorely mistaken. I'm known for my might. Oh, that's... Interesting. The arms. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Don't believe everything you hear, unless it touches on my flighting. Then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. Thank you for the silver, sir. That's why you should never heed somebody named Chadwick. Unless their name is Bozeman. Oh, his title is the Monger of Gossip. So yeah, <laughs> never, never heed anyone with the title of Monger of Gossip, or else you're a dumbass. Right, let's get this sink point, and then we'll go head off to the what? 
Is that what is that? Is that the tattoo place? Or a tattoo place? Child? Hello, child. What? Oh, is he one of those merchants? New requests have come in while you were away, Vol. Oh, he is one of those children, and he provides contracts. But we'll They're do that later. are always looking for help, so come back anytime. Sure. I wish you showed up on my. Oh, you do. That's what that symbol was. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna find. Oh, head over to try to find the. Uh, East Anglian King when we return, so I thank so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all in a moment. Mm -hmm.